Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to have many different pieces of Jedi and Sith lore in this story that will be used in a way in order to evolve the characters of Rey and Kylo Ren from start to finish of this story. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one of the great things about Episode 9 that we did not really get in The Last Jedi to a great extent is, of course, Jedi and Sith lore that would actually be explored in order to really give us a greater explanation of what really happened many years ago prior to the events of the prequel trilogy era. And that's exactly what J.J. Abrams is going to be tapping into Episode 9. You know, Kylo Ren is going to have a lot of artifacts. Rey is going to have a lot of artifacts as well in this movie that's really going to push them forward throughout the story. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for the character of Supreme Leader Snoke's master. Now specifically a description of Kylo Ren and his Knights of Ren walking across a large stone bridge that eventually leads to the Dark Spire, which is said to be the location of the origins of the Dark Side and the Shrines of the Sith. The next describes Kylo and the Knights entering the large castle, where eventually Kylo and the Knights separate and later on regroup and discover a large statue that was once the master of Supreme Leader Snoke. The statue is said to stand around 50 feet high, where on the bottom of the statue the ancient code is said to translate to the character being labeled as Nile Takra Ren. It's said that this is the very scene in which the Forger meets with Kylo and his gang to share a story about Nile Takra Ren and how he went over to the beyond and never returned and that many ancient stories of him still being alive lived on for centuries. The large statue is described to appear cracked and dusty where a piece of the arm is said to be missing since the structure is said to be over a thousand years old. So, one thing that really stands out to me the most here, obviously this is the full identity of Snoke's master in Episode 9. Obviously this character is not alive in this particular moment, this is a statue of the character giving us a name of exactly who was once the master of Snoke and many others that lived throughout the ages. So, the one thing that really stands out to me, I gotta say guys, is the one thing that really impresses me the most is how this structure is said to be around a thousand years old, or more. And if you look at Maz Kanata's castle, that is actually also said to be a thousand years old. So, this whole entire castle structure that is said to be the Dark Spire, it is indeed the location of the origins of the Dark Side and of course the Shrines of the Sith. And within the Shrines of the Sith, which by the way is basically an inversion or the equivalent of the Land of Warriors over in the Lost City, this particular scenario involves Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren discovering basically a graveyard of ancient Sith Lords as well as more recent Sith Lords like Darth Vader. And all these different statues have, you know, different ancient Sith code written on those statues, delivering their full identity and a little bit of their backstory and even some artifacts and objects that were left behind that are stored within each and every statue. And the Forger, by the way, is this guardian, if you will, of the Dark Spire, as well as a creator of certain helmets of Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren, and even made helmets of ancient Sith Lords. So, you can already tell how old this character really is. It's m most likely, you know, a dark side version of Maz Kanata, obviously. I think that's what JJ's really getting at here. You know, the Forger, I believe that we saw him briefly in the teaser trailer. You do see, like, this furry hand uh, fiddling and welding together the Kylo Ren helmet. But I want to go over the name, all right, being referred to as Nile Takra Ren. Now, Takra is obviously the middle name of Snoke's master. And what's really intriguing to me about this is that, like I've said before, Nile is obviously a direct callback to the character and Sith Lord, Nile Ren of the Star Wars EU. So, Nile, you know, uh, Darth Nihilus, I should say, Darth Nihilus of the EU is basically a callback and served as inspirational material for the character of Nile Ren in Episode 9. So, Nile Takra Ren, I'm not quite sure what the significance significance of Takra really means. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that actually is connected to a certain species within the Star Wars universe. We'll have to wait and find out. Beyond and never return and that there's a lot of legends out there that lived on for years from what's explained that he is still 
still alive. Whether or not that's true, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe he's actually dead, maybe he's really alive. Again, guys, nonetheless, I would love to see a Sith Lord reappear in The Rise of Skywalker, and if Matt Smith's character is going to be this character returning, I think that would be a really good thing to do in order to really bring things full circle. But nonetheless, guys, yes, we do have a new villain in this movie that is going to be going up against both Kylo Ren and Rey. We're just not quite certain exactly who it's going to be, other than that the character is labeled as the Dark Acolyte. So what do you guys think about Snoke's master's full identity being labeled as Nile Takra Ren? You know, the structure of the castle from what's being described as being cracked and parts of the arm missing and how it stands 50 feet high. You can only imagine how tall the, the castle structure's got to be. It's got to be at least two to the 400 feet high. You know, when we look at Maz Kanata's castle, it most likely is going to outperform the height of that structure. So look forward to seeing, you know, these amazing visuals in The Rise of Skywalker by JJ and Chris Terrio and what they plan to do with this movie. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.